Welcome everybody to part 40 of Majora's Mask and don't be alarmed by my current status. I've recorded this footage a bit earlier so um, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to do the major side quest of this game. It is known as the Anju Cof Cafe side quest and um, we're pretty much uh, meeting Anju right here, this woman right here. Now folks, don't do what I'm doing right here right now. Don't talk to her as soon as Stock Pot Inn opens at 8 a.m. Otherwise, you will not get a room. Yes, we can actually get a room by um, talking to Andrew, but now's not the right time. And if you talk to her right now, she will remember you for the rest of this cycle, and uh, you have to go back in time and start a new one, and that's kind of lame. So, yeah. Anyway, we just met her, and uh, yeah. What you want to do right here now is go here to this area, which is the mayor's residential office. And there's Gorman going on in. So, yeah. Let's go on in. And, of course, it's all nice and cheer cheerful. And there's the receptionist right there. <laughs> Uh-huh, that's, uh, nice for you, and, uh, yeah, that's how I got the information, like, the first part of the information about, uh, Gorman and Andrew and all those people for my notebook. Yeah, they're notebook entries. Now, um, right here, there is good old Toto. This is where I met him for the first time. And, of course, he'll tell us the problem that we've already known. That they were going, the Indigo goes. We're going to perform here, but Lulu's voice has uh, pretty much crapped down. And well, um, we know why. I played. I, I we know why. Great Bay Temple's all screwed up. I've been Great Bay Temple, and Lulu's voice should be okay. But yeah, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna go back and meet this uh, woman later on, cause right now. We are going to go and, well, talk to this receptionist lady who's all, uh, well, uh, wow. She's a little, um, you know, uh, suggestive, uh, wow. And anyway, go in this room, and here we are going to witness a meeting between the mayor, yeah, the guy with purple hair, his name is Mayor Dotor, and... He's pretty much caught up in a meeting between Captain Bison right here and the leader of the uh, Carpenters named Mutal. Basically, the debate here is that the soldiers say, the people should get out of here. There's a giant moon falling. And then the construction workers are like, no, we're still going to do this. We're going to, who cares about the moon's going to fall? We're still going to build the carnival. And of course, the mayor's caught in the middle. He's struggling to make these decisions. It's like, well, um, yeah. I mean, uh, obviously, if there's a big hunk of moon falling, you should order an evacuation. I mean, you shouldn't stay around to continue playing for a party that probably won't happen in about oh, three days. And of course, the mayor is like pretty much. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know. Uh. Anyway, he's also a notebook entry. All right. Now let's go back and meet this woman. Now this woman here is called Madame Aroma. Yeah, that's her name. And uh, Madame Aroma is the wife of the mayor. And of course, we're witnessing this discussion and saying that the Gorman troops' performance has been canceled. And of course, um, this what's lead this what's lead uh, Gorman here into the milk bar for two nights, and then for his troop to just pack up and leave. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, stuff that I've already known, stuff that I've witnessed, blah, 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 blah. Hey. Okay, sorry for the dialogue, folks, but yeah. I just want to get the complete experience out of it. 
But yeah, of course, Gorman's all pissed that, well, he can't do the troll because, as we know by now, he Gorman loves the Indigo Go's and he wanted to go meet them because, uh, well, that's what got him in the show business in the first place, so yeah. So once Gorman starts leaving, we can talk to Madame Aroma, and she'll think we're this inspector type person that's looking for her son, Cafe, who's gone, mis who's gone missing. And then, of course, to help us on the search, she'll give us an item called Cafe's Mask. And with Cafe's Mask, we'll pretty much ask people if they have seen him. Also, there's a room here in um, this uh, residence that I have not visited through this playthrough. It's in this playthrough, and it is called the Drawing Room. And that's also Cafe's Room. And in it contains a diary of Cafe's last known whereabouts before he mysteriously disappeared. So, yeah, supposedly we're supposed to use the mask to ask where Cafe is. But there's one person we really need to talk about. So, what I did was I started a new cycle right here. That way I can go talk, that way I can get a room at Stockpot Inn. Now, to get the room at Stockpot Inn, do not talk to Anju until after the postman arrives and uh, gives uh, Anju a letter. And then, of course, the postman leaves. Now, at this point, we can now get the room. All we gotta do here now is talk to Anju. Say yes if you have a reservation, and then she'll look you up. And of course, hey, I somehow I got a reservation, so uh, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, it's a notebook, a marking, so yeah. All right, so let's go um, explore the room that I uh, somehow mysteriously reserved. So this is. Uh, this room here is pretty much uh, my room for this cycle, at least. As you can see here, it's uh, not too bad looking. There's two beds. And we get s Silver Rupee. So this is another way you can score some free cash. And that music sounds familiar. So let's go in this room. Well, it turns out here that it's the Gorman Troops room. This is where the Rosa sisters, the Juggling Brothers, and Guru Guru hang out while um, they're here in town. And I can never get the sound of the Song of Storms out of my head, especially now that I have access to it again. But yeah. Anyway. What you want to do now is go down here. Because we're going to witness a scene in a moment of... Well, we're going to witness a very unusual scene, because coming through that door any time now, just got to wait for it. There we go. There's a Goron who has uh, pretty much uh, come a long way because of his uh, traveling pack. And this guy here, his name is Link. I'm not kidding. His name is Link. Basically, the reservation made earlier was meant for this guy. Now, because uh, we uh, came earlier and took his reservation, well, we pretty much stole this guy's room. So, yeah. Of course, he'll identify himself as Link Goro. Of course, Anju pretty much mistakes that for a different name. Because, yeah, he'll uh, add Goro to everything. And the fun fact is, though... When you name your Link a different character, like if you name Link uh, Billy or Joey, it'll be Bi the, the Goron will be named Billy Goro or Joey Goro and so forth. So yeah, he's pretty much going to be named after whatever you name Link. Yeah. Anyway, now let's see if we can find Cafe. Just put on his mask and talk to Anju. Now, of course, she'll react like, Oh, you're looking for him? And then she pretty much says, she, I know where to find him. Well, I know where I could possibly find him. So she wants us to meet at the kitchen at around um, mid, 
at around uh, 11.30, which is technically, it's actually midnight on this night, but yeah. So yeah, we got here, poor uh, Link here, the Goron, well, he'll just sleep outside, because we had to be, a, we just had, with Link, the human Link just happened to be a douche and steal his room. So, yeah. Yeah, see, we kind of feel bad because we stole his room, but, yeah. Well, actually, technically, though, if you're going to do repeated, uh, if you're going to repeat this big side quest, and, yeah, we're actually going to have to do this at least twice, uh, you can actually skip the whole uh, taking the room thing, and we can talk to Anju at the kitchen at midnight by going in through the upper way after the stock pot in closes. So, you know, we don't have to get the room to complete the side quest, but if you want to get the full experience, you might as well do the take the room. And of course, Goron Link here. Well, Link the Goron, not to be confused with Goron Link. Pretty much while he's sleeping predicts that it's going to rain, so which does happen on day 2. All right. Now on the night to the now on nights though, we go up here to the Gorman Tropes room, troops room or whatever. And here we're going to find the Juggling Brothers playing some cards because we know because as we know, the Rosa sisters and Guru Guru are practicing their routines in their respected areas. So, yeah, and how they how they remark on there's two sets of twins in our little group. Well, no, duh. Uh. Anyway, folks, we're going to go ahead and go down here to the kitchen area at around 11.30. But again, it's technically midnight that we have to be here. And then Angie will be coming on downwards. You can hear her footsteps. Oh, this place needs to uh, have an exterminator because I see bugs everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, the thing about this, it's a lot of waiting, folks, so I'm sorry about this. If you don't want to watch this, you can go ahead and go to part 50 when I load it up, or if I have if I have part 50 up and uploaded by now, just go ahead and click on that. But regardless, here's Anju, and when she's right here, let's go talk to her. And pretty much uh, that postman delivered a message to uh, Anju that's from Cafe for some hidden location. And pretty much what she wants you to do now is put a letter in a mailbox to be delivered to Cafe. And then she wants us to go find him. And of course, accept this mission because, yeah, we're here. We're. Because Link's a hero, he can play matchmaker if he wants. So, yeah. Let's go deliver this uh, thing to uh, a mailbox. Now, first thing in the morning, go find a mailbox, like this one right here. And of course, what you want to do here is get the thing, put it in a C button. Now, if you just, just press the letter at the mailbox, nothing will happen. So instead, you want to talk to the uh, mailbox. I mean, talk to the mailbox. That's what. And then, of course, just um, put the thing in the mailbox, and it'll be delivered. So now we have to wait until, um, uh, yeah, around uh, three o'clock. And at around three o'clock at the second day, go to the laundry pool. The postman will come down and he will ring a bell right over there. Now, at that point, a boy wearing a Keaton mask will uh, walk out. And then that's your cue to go over and go through the door he came out of. And here we are in the secret hideaway. This is uh, kind of uh, weird looking. I mean, it's a nice little secret hideaway. I mean, there's a bed, there's a desk, there are crates, and yeah. There's actually not, that's not actually a bad looking place, if I do say so myself. So yeah, um, 
We gotta do some more waiting, folks. Mwah. All right. At this point, Cafe. Well, the boy in the Keaton mask. Who am I saying? Who am I talking about? There you go. And yeah, we go talk to this boy right here. He'll he'll identify you as the boy with the green clothes and a green hat. And yeah, we can keep a secret. Well, it turns out this boy is Cafe. A kid. Yeah. If you've seen any of my earlier videos, like, on time, like the few times that I've shown that I've warped back to day one, you will, you will have seen this boy in the Keaton mask running around doing who knows what, hiding in secret. So, yeah. So what happened was that a um, imp, surprise, surprise, guess who it was, turned him into a kid, and not only that... To add more humiliation, his mo uh, cafe's most precious possession, the s sun mask, was stolen. Now, the reason why he's been hiding all this time is not because he's been turned into a kid, no. It's because he's lost his precious sun mask, and he won't rest until he gets it back. And the sun mask has been stolen by Sakon the Thief, whom we've met before. And now... Cafe just gave us the pendant of memories to deliver to Anju, and it's going to let us know that uh, Cafe is like pretty much, I'm staying for you, my love. I'm doing this all for you, and uh, you might as well deliver the pendant as soon as possible because it's a confidence booster to Anju because um, it's a it's a symbol of love. It's it means. It means it's um uh, it's pretty much saying Cap from Cafe to Andrew, I am faithful to you, I will come for you, my love, and so on and so forth. All that mushy stuff. So, yeah. Oh, and by the way, in order to complete the side quest, you must not, I repeat, you must not help the bomb bag lady on night one. You must let Sakon the Thief steal her bag, because that is important. And I will show you why in the next video. Anyway... We go here back to Anju, and she'll ask if we've seen Cafe, and that's your cue to deliver the Pendant of Memories. And then, of course, she'll be so surprised, and then she'll be all happy and all that. So, yeah. See you in part 49.